Hello and welcome to First Look. I'm Young John. Today we have Geomag's Mechanics Challenge. This is a magnetic cannon. It's a STEM toy teaching you about the physics of movement and shooting things. So let's look inside and see what's in the box. All right, so we're gonna unbox the Mechanics Challenge by Geomag. It's a STEM toy and it's magnetic target shooting. So it should be a lot of fun. Now it's for ages seven and up, as you see from up here, and this whole thing is Swiss made. If you look on the back, these are all of the parts that you get. And this is an illustration of the kind of toy it'll be once you put it all together. All right. You have your plastic discs, special pieces. You have what's stuck together. This must be some metal pieces and your instruction manual. Now this set comes with a lot of pieces, so it's really important to take a look at the instruction manual because it'll show you exactly what you can do with it. So on the first page, you get different games, one, two, and three for the difficulty level. And you have basic instructions on what these are for. So for example, these plastic round pieces are structural elements for the base to keep it from moving around. This is how you build tracks. And this is how you build the magnetic cannon. So I don't want to keep you waiting. I'm going to go ahead and build this cannon and I'll be right back. I'm back. And after looking through the instruction manuals, I have figured out how to make this cannon here. This is a magnetic cannon. It's really cool actually once you start playing around with it. But half the fun is creating it. But here's how it works. Uh, you take, this is like a ketchup bottle to, ketchup bottle, a used ketchup container to put my balls in, what happens is you take your ball, you put it in this little uh, drop-in point, and it shoots the ball out. Now, reload is like this. You just push this to reload the next ball, and then you drop another ball right in here. And it shoots out this metal ball to where you want it to go. It's a pretty powerful thing, actually, so don't aim it at uh, live things. <laughs> Just, oh, and that's another thing. If you haven't reloaded, the ball's just going to wander aimlessly out towards the side out there. So don't forget to reload. Let's reload this guy and then shoot out another one. The locking mechanism works as circles and squares. So let me illustrate. Uh, you have this main hub here and you have this guy. So this has a circular outer uh, connection and you find a circular connection around here and you just kind of stick it in like that. And when you take it out, you just pull it off the same way. So to give it a little bit more strength, you can add a second one like this right next to it. And there you have a connection. Now the squares are the inner tracks not the outer tracks. So if you feel a kind of a hole on the outside, that's a circular one, but the ones inside are squares. So this guy here has a square connection piece and you can stick that. Just put it right in the middle. Not too much to think about, there we go. And since this is flat, you can put it down on any flat surface, like the ground or a table. So this is basically how the locking system works. And you also have this little red piece, which is a riser, okay? This kind of gives it a little bit more height and you can stick that right into, this is also a square, as you can see right over here. And just put it around the middle <laughs> and you can kind of, there we go. Okay, so it's locked in like that. So now that you have an idea of how to build it and pull it apart, you can kind of see how this works like Legos, except you can shoot things. This is a cannon. <laughs> it shoots metal balls, which is really cool. And the first challenge or the first game is shooting down little people that you can make. Look at this. This is a little fella here. You can have legs close together or you can have guys with legs farther apart for a bigger challenge. Now, I'm going to try to shoot these guys down. All right, this is challenge number one. I'm gonna have a little man over here. I'm gonna do it really close. 
so that I don't miss, okay? I, my table doesn't have guards, so if I shoot a metal ball down here, <laughs> it's gonna go way past the table and I'm gonna lose the metal ball and I don't want that. So I put my hand like right here and see if I can't make the guy fall. And here we go. And it goes poof! Next, the challenge is the guy's with his legs apart. So now it gets a little bit harder when you wanna kind of hit it in one leg and not both of them like this. My cannon is a little off center and, oh wait, I have to reload. There we go. Reloaded our cannon and let's fire away. And yes, I got the second guy with his legs wide apart. Now this is challenge number one. We've made little men. They were easy to make because it's just two sticks on a circle. But the second game is now a goal post. We're gonna make a goal post to shoot our metal balls into. That's more of a challenge to make. So I've built it part ways, but I'm going to finish on camera so you can see exactly how it kind of sticks together. Here is the ground part. And we can stick that in there. And here we can do that. And this one is a double circular part like this. And now you see the double goal posts. We can just stick it right on top of that. And we're done, more or less. Stick a cap on top just to make it look pretty. Ta-da! And our goal post is finished. All the balls will go into this kind of opening and it'll be caught by this so it doesn't go anywhere else. So here's our goal post and we are going to shoot these metal balls into them. We will reload the cannon. There we are. And shoot a metal ball. Caught right inside. Reload. Let's shoot another one and see if we can get it from the side. And Ronaldo kicks it. Oh no, and he missed. Ah! Let's try this again. This goal post is smaller than I expected. So let's reload that one and shoot from here. Yes. And he does it again. He shoots one right into the goal post from the corner. And last one from this side over here. Let's see if we can't get the, oh, wait, reload. Ah, there we go. So here's the next ball and let's make it in and bang! Three goals and we've won the game. Third and final challenge, I've created this wheel here. Look at this, it kind of spins around, but look how easily it spins. Now it's a bit of a challenge to put together, but it has real life applications. For example, anything with a wheel will work with these kinds of ball bearings. Like if you know of rollerblades, right? The wheels inside the rollerblades, that's how it spins, using ball bearings just like this one. So you see how it spins freely. You have, let's say the wheel, whoops. <laughs> it fell apart, but that's only because I turned it upside down. You have the ball bearings inside the wheel and it makes it spin very, very quickly. So our purpose now is to hit one of these kind of bits and make it spin around. Now this is gonna be tough to hit too, so you have to aim really precisely. Uh, with the leftover pieces, I've sort of constructed this uh, netting, if you will, to catch any balls from falling off this table. So I'm gonna put this at the end. It'll catch all the balls that I miss with. It's gonna be hard to aim for me from this angle, but to show you on camera, this is how I'm gonna have to do it. So fingers crossed, let's hope this works and let's reload the cannon now. And I'm going to shoot the first one and oh, on my first hit, here we go. And now the second challenge is to hit this while it's spinning. So I'm gonna time it, oh, let's, Reload, and, ah, missed. Oh no, forgot to reload. Oh. Reload, and, 
Oh, I hit one, but it's not spinning very well. Reload. Okay, let's aim this this way. Yes, I hit one. Reload. And, ooh, missed. Reload. You see these balls bouncing back. It's actually kind of a powerful shot. It's pushing my barrier off the table, sort of. So I'm gonna have to adjust it while I play it. And boom! I did hit it, but I hit it in the wrong angle, which is kind of tough. Let me move this this way. Wait, reload. Forgot to reload. <laughs> Here we go. And yes! Reload. And wait. And there we go. And it's spinning faster. Great. Reload. Uh, missed. And it gets harder as it spins faster. Reload. Yes! Oh, I think I hit it like three or four times, so I'm pretty happy with my progress. As you can see, it's spinning quite easily. And actually, I think it would spin better if I followed the instructions and put a weight on top of this, which is like this, because the top is loose if it doesn't have any weight. So it says to put some ball bearings right on top here so that when it hits, it's more stable. Because if it's loose, it's gonna wobble a little bit. So maybe that's why it's not moving as fast. And that's our look into Geomax Mechanics Challenge. This is a fun STEM toy where you learn to build things and play around with cannons and physics and also learn that it has applications in real life. Like this moving ball bearing wheel that gets used in rollerblades and even tanks because it uses all the same principles. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't yet, please take a moment now to subscribe to the First Look YouTube channel. We'll see you all again next time.